Let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody. Coast to coast, This Week in America. We might ask ourselves, what is going on during these challenging times in which we live? What's happening? Are we being punished by God? Is the end of the world near? Many biblical end-time prophecies are being observed in our present time. Joe Irizarry, in his book, Signs of the Times in 2020, The Beginning of Sorrows, will attempt to explain what is happening in the world from a biblical and prophetic viewpoint and some of the events we should expect next. Joe was born in Newark, New Jersey, to first-generation Puerto Rican parents. He's an entrepreneur, marketer, and writer. Throughout a multitude of trials and hardships in his 20s, his life took a turn when he focused on the teachings of Jesus Christ. Now, since becoming a Christian, Joe has used his unique life experiences and understanding of the Bible to circulate God's Word. In 2020, he felt compelled to write Sign of the Times due to all of the compounding evidence he had observed that closely paralleled many of the Bible's prophecies. Joe Irizarry, author of Signs of the Times in 2020, The Beginnings of Sorrows, is our guest on This Week in America. Joe, welcome to the program. A pleasure to have you with us. Hello, and thank you, Rick. It is my pleasure. Good to be here. It is such an important book, and I want to talk about well, why did you feel compelled? I mentioned this happened in 2020 to write Sign of the Times. What was it that you felt compelled that I need to write this book, and now is the time to do it? Well, prior to 2020, I was a, a nominal Christian, and I was at a worship team, and I did a lot of things for God. But what made 2020 unique was what the lockdowns and the pandemic that we were having because of COVID. Yes. So I had a lot of time in my hands. So I started to observe and I started to write because the more I observed, the more I was able to tell that we're living in prophetic times. I, it was like my eyes were opened. What were some of the signs that you saw that made you believe, yes, in fact, not only believe, but firmly believe that we were living, we are living in prophetic times. What were some of the signs that, that you saw that when you had this time to, to contemplate and to think through that you realized, yes, we're living in these times now. What were some of the signs that got your attention? Oh, gosh, there was the lawlessness. It was like, that reminded me of the time and quote doing their own thing, and really, in deep, being disrespectful to parents, to law enforcement, to a authority, um, to the church, to Jesus' teachings, to God, this was horrible. I saw and I saw the wars and rumors of wars um, over uh, Ukraine and Russia and uh, in China, Iran with our nuclear deals. Um, and it was the pestilences that we were going through with with uh, COVID and, uh, and then famines and droughts. And it was a lot of things I was able to observe. And then I was able to, to just contemplate, say, hold on, this is what Jesus spoke about in, uh, in Matthew 24. And this is what Daniel talked about. And in the book of Revelations in different, different end time prophecies or point in the same direction. So I decided to write. And the book is signs of the times in 2020. Joe Irizarry is our guest. I will spell that throughout the program and give you his website as well. Irizarry is I R I Z A R R Y. His website is author Joe Irizarry.com book available, amazon.com Barnes and Noble writing brand writers, branding.com. We've got all this on our website, but I'll, I'll give this to you as, as we go through the program. And this is something too, that's ongoing. Isn't it? I'm sure when you, all you have to do is pick up a newspaper or watch a newscast and it, it just cements your belief that we're really in troubled times now. That's correct. It's just a, the natural disasters, natural disasters, and the apostasy, or the apostasy is the falling away. People just, because iniquity shall bound, the love of many shall be waxed cold. They're leaving the church, or the church is compromising and accepting things, teachings that normally they would not teach. They're basically unbiblical. 
uh, the persecution, which is, I have another book that's going to come out in a couple of months, which is going to be signs of the times, the great persecution. And it's going to explain the persecution that the church is going through now, even as we speak. I think people will be dumbfounded once they realize what's really going on. And the mainstream media really didn't cover it for whatever reason. And, uh, and then science, the way science uh, has increased, like Daniel spoke about. And I go more in depth in the book. I, I get more into detail. Cashless society is another one. And uh, that pre- that's really preparing the way for the mark of the beast which uh, the book of Revelations talks about. So, um, Well, looking enthused, forward to that, when do you think that book will be out? You, you sounded like it was coming up very shortly. Well, book two will be out sometime in November. Oh, fantastic. That'll be uh, the Signs of the Times, The Great Persecution. The one that I have out now is Signs of the Times in 2020, The Beginning of Sorrows. And this will be a continuation, and you watch for this. If you go to Joe's website, that's the best place to get information on Sign of the Times in 2020 and find out when the new Signs of the Times will be out. And that's author Joe Irizarry, I-R-I-Z-A-R-R-Y. And again, all this on our website. So if you're traveling, uh, just go to our website, and you can link on it and get all of this information one of the questions I ask in the beginning that we all have is we're sort of sorting out what's going on in the world around us is, are we being punished by God? Are we being punished by God, do you feel? No, we're not really being punished by God. I think the, the, the Lord is preparing his church for the rapture. That's a, the next great event that the, the church is really waiting for. And uh, I know people laugh at it, they might scoff at it, but they laughed at Noah when Noah said it would rain. Yes. And uh, it did. Um, so it's not really a punishment, but basically it's going to be a wake-up call for the church. It's going to be a wake-up call for the church. What because can- uh, I think we're closely uh, reaching uh, at the end times and the time of the rapture. I don't know the t- time or the day or the hour no one does, only the Father. But I believe that we will know the season, and I believe that season is very close. What can we expect? What are some of the events that we should expect next, and what can what should we do in preparation? Is there anything we can do? Well, almost any time you pick up the newspaper, you see an event. That's an yes. end-time prophecy. Look at the lawlessness that's going on and defunding the police. And that's one of them. And or the different plagues. Right now we're, we have the monkeypox. Yes. Monkey, every time you read the news, you're going to read what are the end time signs. So uh, what can we do? We have to get our lives right with God. So we may be uh, ready for the, the next great event will be the rapture of the church, where the church will be taken away, and uh, the Antichrist will then reign upon the earth, and it, it will be a very difficult time, a very difficult seven years. When you were writing Signs of the Times in 2020, the beginning of sorrows, talk about that experience, how long it took you the research you had to do, and your thoughts as you were putting this together, because you're building a case that these are, are, are difficult times and going to be difficult times. What was this writing the book process like for you and putting this all together and maybe some, some revelations uh, to yourself that you didn't even consider before you started writing the book, Signs of the Times? You know, as I, start, as I was writing it, it was a, uh, it was quite ironic because I wrote it because I had a lot of time in my hands, and I wrote it because I wanted to teach others. But as I was writing it, it wasn't others that were really learning; it was I 
Yep, yes. It was teaching me. It was speaking to me, to the man in the mirror. Do you think there was sort of maybe divine inspiration that, that led you to, to start the project, to do the project, learn as you're going, and then sharing, as you just talked about, that wisdom with, with people through the book? Uh, was there more than just Joe Irizarry writing this book? It definitely was. Because as I did research, as I did research, I started finding things out and finding information that I didn't even imagine was going on. I didn't even imagine it existed. And yes, it was definitely uh, divinely inspired. How do you handle all of this, the knowledge that you've had, what you've uh, contemplated, what you've seen over the course of the last couple of years? And there's some harsh realities that we all face, but how do you juggle that with going about day-to-day life? I, some people are, are so concerned, I almost would use the word consumed by what they fear we're going through. How do we balance that with real life? How do you get through the day knowing what you know and, and putting it in proper perspective? Well, Rick, I give everything to God and I try to live for him. Though I have a business, I have businesses. Yes. I also am starting a foundation to help. Uh, and help, help people. He, he, yeah. And to help people that are really suffering. You know, there's people out there that are really, really suffering. And uh, that was something that uh, I found also. Well, and the book is is really important to to pe- for people to get and read and absorb what what Joe is is talking about in the book. The book Signs of the Times in 2020 is website is authorjoeirizari dot com, and that's J O E. I R I Z A R R Y dot com. Uh, if you do Google signs of the times in 2020, you'll get the Amazon page. You'll get the spelling for Joe's name and just take that and uh, go to his website. So you can keep up on all that he's doing book available at Amazon, Barnes and Noble writers, branding.com, all of the places. Joe, what do you hope the takeaway is when when someone reads the book Signs of the Times in 2020? It may be confirmation for what they thought was going on. It may be eye-opening for them. What do you hope the, the average reader takes away from reading Signs of the Times? I think, and I believe, and I strongly pray that upon reading it, not only will you realize or confirm what we already knew, but uh, that we can be reconciled to God through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I mentioned in the beginning that you went through a number of trials and hardships in your, your 20s. Your life took a turn when you focused on the teachings of Jesus Christ. Talk about that and how the life uh, really dramatically improved once you came to, uh, to that understanding. What was it like before, and then what was it like afterwards when you opened your your life and your heart? Well, Rick, I was born in Newark, New Jersey. It's not an easy place. It's a a rough, uh, it's a rough city, and uh, very dangerous. I was exposed to a lot of dangerous stuff, and uh, drugs, very horrible lifestyles, and uh, drinking, and uh, I was basically on drugs, uh, getting ready to die, and uh, I cried out to God. I asked God to forgive me, because, see, I was preached to before, but I didn't listen. Uh, See, I was a young man, and I thought I was going to live forever. Sometimes we think we believe we're immortal, and we're not. Yes. And when I saw myself basically on death's bed, I I asked God, and I made a pact with God. I said, Lord, look, if you heal me from this, I'm going to serve you. And uh, he did. He kept his end of it. And that Sunday, I was in church. And I gave my heart to Jesus Christ, and my life has changed ever since. 
The book is Signs of the Times in 2020. Joe Irizarry is our guest on the program. Uh, time going by quickly. A few minutes left in the program. Uh, I mentioned how important it is for you to get this word out. I know you've started uh, uh, a service a few years back to uh, to reach out to Latin Americans and, and get messages out to them. How important is it for you to, to spread this word? Uh, you're doing it in the book and you're doing it with your, your actions uh, throughout the, your life now. How important is it for you to share th- this message with, the, with anybody that would listen? Well, it's extremely important. You know, um, there are some people who are completely hopeless, and uh, sometimes we live in our own comfort zones. Uh, we live in our uh, rich uh, suburban areas, and sometimes we have our own little world, our own little groups, our own set of people, our own set of friends, and we forget that there's people out there, even in our own country, who are suffering who are going through very, very difficult times. And in Latin America, there are places that are horrible. They're not risking their lives coming over to the southern border for nothing. A lot of them are desperate. Yes. You know, and so uh, I want to reach out to them. You've I used... want to reach out for them. I want to help them. And I want them to, instead of have being hopeless, to be hopeful and have their hope in Jesus Christ. And I sense that's where you are. You are hopeful now. Am I correct? That's correct. And you could share that, uh, that same emotion at, that Joe has. And, uh, one of the guides to get you there is Joe's book signs of the times in 2020. You quote Romans 15, four, and I just, um, in one of the, the, the interviews I saw with you and it says for everything that was written in the past was written to teach us so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide, we might have hope. Uh, talk about why Romans fifteen four is so important, and you just touched on that before with hope. Hope is really what we all need to hang on to, isn't it? That that is correct. Without hope, we are miserable. And you know, it's funny. Funny you should mention it because uh, that's why people probably turn to drugs and alcohol. You know, they feel an emptiness inside, and uh, they try to fill that void with the wrong materials, with either drugs or alcohol or sex or, and you know, they have to fill themselves up with God, with Jesus. And uh, once they do, they will feel fulfilled. They will not have that void any longer. What do you say to people who say, you know, this is in the Bible, it's inevitable, it's going to happen. I really feel hopeless. There's nothing I can do. What encouragement would you give them? Well, look, a lot of bad things are going to happen. There are good things that are going to happen. But ultimately, God has a beautiful reward. He has a beautiful place for those who have faith in him. Signs of the Times in 2020 is Joe's recent book, and uh, I'll spell it so you've, you've got all the information here. Ira, Irizarry is I-R-I-Z-A-R-R-Y. The book, as I said, Signs of the Times in 2020, The Beginning of Sorrows. The book is available at Amazon, at Barnes & Noble, the usual places, uh, at writersbranding.com as well. And information on this and the new book uh, that Joe will have out shortly is at his website, author Joe Irizarry, I R I Z A R R Y dot com. Joe, you do such a, a nice job of, of breaking this down and, and spelling it out for the average person where we fully understand what you're talking about, the, the gravity of, of what you're talking about and what we need to do, how we respond. You've got the new book that's coming out. Are you working on, on other books as well? You've got a gift for writing. Are you working on other books? Yes. I, I started writing on a book three and, uh, It'll it'll be out, and I'll mention it in in God's time because I don't even have I don't even have a title yet, but it's going to be a good one. 
Well, looking forward to that, and uh, hopefully we can touch base for the uh, second book, and uh, which will be out soon, and then the uh, the third book that's now in the process of being uh, the the concept is being uh, uh, developed. This book is Signs of the Times, twenty twenty, the beginning of the sorrows by Joe Irizarry. Joe, it's been a pleasure having you on the program. Thank you for spending some time with us. Some very important information, uh, uh, taking what's going on around us and answering a lot of questions as to what's happening and it doesn't seem to be getting any better like i say every day it's sort of compounding as we follow news stories and events in the world thank you for being with us on the program you're welcome rick the book by the way once again signs of the times in 2020 joe irizarry i-r-i-z-a-r-r-y information on our website this week in america.us and we're back on today's program right after these messages This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. Jay Anderson, segment producer. Ben Watson, webmaster. Otto Bache, director of engineering and TV production. This Week in America produced and is a trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, LLC. For information on all of our guests and to listen to this week's show, our website again at thisweekinamerica.us. And I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer of This Week in America.